Hi everybody, I'm Dave Dunbar with General Pipe Cleaners. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about version 2.0 of the Gen I Wi-Fi systems and how to sync your mobile device to those. So if your Gen I device doesn't say 2.0 on it, maybe you're not watching the right video. But if it does, stay tuned. We're going to talk about how it's as easy as 1, 2, 3 to set up your phone or pad so it can receive Wi-Fi signal from a Gen I device. Okay? We're going to talk about how to download the free app, how to find the Wi-Fi signal when you're in the field working, and then how to put them all together to best advantage to you. So you can make a recording, upload, do whatever you need to do. Okay? Behind me, I have a couple devices. I have the SDP unit. You notice that the screen is on. Anytime the screen is on and the unit is turned on, the Wi-Fi is transmitting. It's transmitting a signal from inside that you can pick up with your mobile device. Now this one also has the ability to make an SD recording as well. But we're going to talk about the Wi-Fi signal today. This device here is a Gen I Prism. Notice it says version 2.0. This one doesn't have a monitor. Notice it just has a cradle here where you can put your iPad or Android device. This one is set up for a pad. We have smaller ones that you can put your phone on as well. And then that acts as the monitor. It does everything that the other monitor does. Now, to turn this on, we use the switch. The light comes on, you listen, you'll be able to hear the fan is working as well. Anytime the light's on and the fan's working, it's transmitting. Okay? So that's all you need to know about that. We're going to go through the Apple devices first and then talk about the Androids as we talk about how to download the app, find the Wi-Fi, and put everything together. So the first step, let's find out how to download the free app. So let's go to our App Store. Open your App Store. Hit the search function in the upper right. And type in G-Pipe Viewer. So that's G-Pipe, P-I-P-E. Viewer, V-I-E-W-E-R, and search. And the first thing that comes up should be GPI Viewer. Now just download that. Now as you download this, you're probably going to need your Apple password. And before you actually download the app, it will ask you for a password for the GPI Viewer app. It's very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so very simple. So let's download that. Get out of the App Store and check to see where it is. There it is. You can tell from the icon it's the General Pipe Cleaners app. Make sure it's in a place where you can find it later for convenience while you're in the field working. Okay. So that's all you have to do to download the app on an Apple device. Let's go to the Android device. For an Android device, in order to download the free app, we go into Google Play Store. Now, you might have used Google Play Store to download apps and music before, so I'm sure you're familiar with it. And we go to the search function at the top, and we type in G dash pipe. Wi-Fi Viewer and hit search and the first thing that comes up is our app G-Pipe Wi-Fi Viewer so now you go through the same process you'd go through to download any app and you install it now you might have to put in a password in order to do this. Our passwords are very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then we open the app and just go make sure that it's in a place that you can find it easily afterwards. We've now downloaded the app. And back to the Apple. And go to settings. Check for Wi-Fi, and under Wi-Fi, look for Choose a Network. Now you notice that this network right here starts with Wi-Fi, underscore, and then some numbers. That's going to be our Wi-Fi for the Gen I system on the Gen I 2.0. So we touch that, 
And you notice this is a locked Wi-Fi system. If you've never done it before, it's going to ask for a password. The password's very easy. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so just enter the password. And when the Wi-Fi is being picked up by your device, then you can go out of settings. And we'll go back to the app. Open up the General Pipe Cleaners app. Touch that device, and the picture will come up. Now, you notice on the right-hand side that you have some icons. Top is a home. Second is for settings. Third looks like a camera. If you want to take a still, you can do that. If I put my hand in front of the screen and tap on that, it takes a still picture. Okay, let's find that picture I took. Hit the menu. There it is. Adjust it to size. And you can upper right hit the use title. It gives me things that I can do with it. I can put it on a message. I can put it in mail. I can add it to my notes. I can do Twitter or Facebook. I can do all kinds of things with it. Now one of the nice things about this for stills or videos is you can upload it to YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, anything like that and share it with customers, share it with people that, that you want to see this, that you need to verify it with. You can see how many times they viewed it, and you can take it down when you're done. It gives you complete control over the video, more so than if you actually hand something to somebody, a recording or an SD card. So you have complete control. So let's go back. If I want to make a video, I just press this once. It comes up and says start recording. If I wave my hand in front of it a few times, Come back and press the icon again, it stops recording. Again, go to the menu, bring it up, press the start, and it comes through. Again, just as we said before, you have all kinds of options on what you can do with this video. Okay? Again, giving you complete control. So, that's how it works with the Apple device. Let's see how it works on the Android. So let's go in and check our settings to make sure that we actually are hooked up to the Wi-Fi that's coming from the Gen I device. And we'll find our Wi-Fi again, same as we did before. You see it's Wi-Fi underscore zero zero EO82. Yours will be different. Every device is slightly different. Okay. Tap on that. And it asks for a password. Remember, we said the password was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hit done. And connect. And we're connected. So, we go back to the app. Open the app. And it lists the Wi Fi device up at the top here. We just touch that. And there's your picture. Now notice that the icons on the side are exactly the same. It's the same app. It's just showing up on a different device. So they work exactly the same way. They save files to the same place where you always save photos and video files on your device. So now let's say that you make a recording on your Android device, but you can't find it. You can't pull it up. You can't upload it to any place. Some Android devices are not compatible with the type of recording that our app produces. And for that reason, you'll need to download another app, a viewer app, to help you utilize this. So again, we go to the Play Store, we open it up, and we put in MX Player. So M is in mic, X is in X-ray, and then Player, P-L-A-Y-E-R, and search. You get several come up right in the first row here. These two are free, and that one is there's a small charge for it. Okay, you take your pick. If you get the free one, there will be some advertisements. Uh, the one you pay for won't have any advertisements. Now, when I back out of this, you see we've already downloaded the MX Player Pro, the one that you pay a little bit more so we can avoid the ads. Make your pick. Once you have this, you're ready to go. Thanks for viewing. This was for version 2.0 for, for the Gen I Wi-Fi series. If you have any other questions, 
You can call our customer service department, the Drain Brains, at 800-245-6200 and talk to them. Or go on our website, drainbrain.com. Thanks for using General Equipment. We really appreciate it, and have a great day. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.